This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Wow, July's already over, we're into August. So let's take a look at last month. Every time I keep a game and it's good enough and I love it to death and it's I love it enough to keep it in my own gaming library, I give it a saxophone serenade. I'm a saxophone player. I basically hook up my uh, player piano and I jam alongside with it with the board game. Now this is no small feat because I am busting through the gills behind me with all these games. And so typically when I keep a game, I have to get rid of a game. So this isn't something to be taken lightly. So here's the games I kept in July. Uh, first was Downforce. This is a family racing game being brought to us by Restoration Games, who took this original game that was back in 1973 as Tempo, then came back as Daytona 500 in the 90s and they redid it and this is a very fun racing game where you're bidding to try to figure out which car is yours but it's not all about just racing and winning because you'll be betting on which cars you think are going to win and you can bet for other people and try to make them win and make money that way very interesting game the next one is Cartagena. This is a reprint of an old classic game that came out maybe in the early 2000s, originally, I believe. Uh, and this is from Rio Grande Games. And so this is basically Gamer Candyland, where you're going to be playing cards to move your pirates up to different symbols, hopping, passing symbols that there are already pirates on. But the only way to draw uh, cards back up is to move backwards. It has this interesting take uh, and simple rules, but man, is it thinky. Love this one. Next one is Word on the Street. This is my mom's favorite uh, word game. And uh, this is basically a party game where you're trying to quickly come up with the best word for a certain category, like type of flower or your favorite food. And you're spelling these out and dragging words to your side of the street. And you're trying to get them so they come all the way off your side of the street. And you're trying to be the first team to get eight letters up. And it's a tug of war of words. Very fun party game and it just got reprinted. Next is Frog Riders. This is an excellent family game that's based upon checkers where you're going to be hopping over frogs and taking them. And then you're either going to be trying to collect them for either both public and or private goals for the end of the game, or you're going to be turning them in for, for special abilities depending on the frog's color. Uh, it's just a phenomenal game. It's super easy to teach, but man, it is, it's is—it's got a lot of good depth there. Uh, and the last one is Pit Crew. This is from Stronghold Games, designed by Jeff Engelstein, same one did Space Cadets and Space Cadets Dice Duel. And this is a team versus team game for two to nine players where you're in the pit crew of a race and you're trying to quickly change the car, uh, the tires and fill the gas and fix the engine. And you're trying to do it very quick and the, the, the more perfect you do, the better bonuses you get. But you could also miss things on purpose, get things done quick and possibly be able to, be able to press your luck and move forward fast as well. This is a really fun real-time team game with a huge player range. So that's it. Those are the ones that I kept for July. I'll look forward to seeing uh, what's happening at the end of August. Hopefully some of the hot Gen Con releases will be on this at the end of next month. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.